Welcome to the homework for lesson 27. This is module four of grade one. Get your name on here first. And we're using number bonds and writing pairs of number sentences. That's two number sentences for each problem. And uh, it says here, you may draw quick tens and some ones to help you. So if you're a fan of drawing quick, quick tens and ones, sure you could do every single one that way if you want. I highly encourage you to do the number bonds though. You may find that they're, once you get used to them, they're a lot easier and faster. So 17 plus 14. And there's lots of different strategies to use for number bonds. You can add the ones first, you can add the tens first, or you can make 10. Uh, there's a lot, just, there's a lot of different ways to use the number bonds, but either, no matter how you use them, you're going to end up using two number sentences, no matter what method you use for the number bonds. So I hear that, here's that 17, that's close enough to 20 that I can get three out of this 14 and 11. And I want to add the 17 and the three first. Because that's going to make 20. And then I'll add the 11 to the 20. There, and now looking at uh, 16 and 15. I can do the same thing here and make this a 5 to go with that 15 and make a 20. And then that would leave 11. So I'd have 15 plus Thirty one again, seventeen and fifteen, and I'm going to do that same thing again, taking out five to make get that 15 the rest of the way to 20. So 5 less than 17 is 12. That's going to be the hardest thing to do is to figure out the other part of the 17 once you take the 5 out. 15 plus 5 equals 20. 20 plus 12 equals 32. And again, this is um, this is a video, so if I'm going too fast, pause it, go back over, you know, back up. If I went, uh, if yeah, if I get too far ahead, you can just pause it and work ahead of me, and then go back and check to see how you did. See if you did the same way I did. Eighteen plus thirteen. Uh, let's see. I can get a 2 out of that 13, and the rest would be 11. And here's another 11. Wow, all these 11s and 12s. All right, so the 18 plus 2 is 20. And 20 plus 11 is 31. And here's 18 plus 15. And let me try this one. For this one, I'm going to... So that 18 is almost 20. So it needs two more, and that would mean 15. Two less than 15 is 13. And now I can do the 18 plus the 2. That's 20. And 20 plus 13, 33. And I can do the same thing here with a 16. Or the 16 is going to be one more than 18 plus 15. So still it's going to be 2. And now it's going to be 14. 18 plus 2 equals 20. 20 plus 14 equals 34. 
19 plus 15, well, that 19 is almost 20. So 1 and 1 less than 15 is 14. I think that's one of the easiest ways to decompose one of those two numbers. 1 and 14. So 19 plus 1 equals 20. And 20 plus 14 equals 34. And 19 plus 16, it's going to be one more. This is going to end up being 35. But I like that 1 and 15 here. 19 plus the 1 equals 20. And now we're just adding two tens to the 15. Oops. Thirty-five, and I may as well draw some quick tens here, just because it says you can, and I just want to show all the different ways to do it. Uh, so we'll do nineteen plus fourteen with quick tens. And actually, it doesn't it says solve. It doesn't say it doesn't give any directions for how to solve it. So let's see. Might be able to do it mentally, but you still have to write down the the two equations you need. So let's see. 19. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then the 14 is going to take 1, 2, 3, 4 ones, and a 10. And then together, I see three tens and which is 30 plus three ones 33 <clears throat> 19 plus 17 if I'm going to do quick tens for this one there's 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now the tens are quick right and 17, I'm going to need seven ones for that, right? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a 10. So that's a 10. I have three tens for 30 plus six ones, 36. 18 plus 17. Now, I'm going to go back to the number bond strategy because now 18 is 2 away from 20. So I'm looking at 2 and 2 less than 17 is 15. So that's 20 and then 20 plus the 15. 35. Sixteen plus sixteen. You see double sixes there. One, two, three, four, five, six, and six more ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. And another 10, right, for that, the rest of that 16. There's a 10, so 30 plus the two ones, 32, 17 plus 14. Well, if I try this. I'm going to add the ones first. 17 plus 4. All right, count that up. <clears throat> it's 21. And then add the 10. 31. That's just one of the ways we practiced using number bonds, right? Adding the ones first. And then you can also you can do almost the same thing, except add the tens first. 
So let's try it with, oops, usually splitting up the smaller number. And you don't have to do every, there's just a lot of different ways to do these using number bonds. And you don't have to do the ones that I do the way I do them. I'm just giving examples of the, all the different ways to use to, to use the number bonds. And so that was E I did, I added, that was adding the ones first, and now I'm going to add the tenths first. So 16 plus 10. Twenty-six, and twenty-six plus the five, thirty-one. And that one's probably not the best choice for the easiest way to solve that one, but don't always choose the easiest way. Nineteen plus nineteen. And for this one, I'm going to draw it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I need one. I just need nine more ones for the other 19. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10 makes 19. So if there's a 10. I have three tens. That's 30. Plus eight ones, thirty-eight. Um, but I think far easier is using that. Those nineteens are they're almost twenty, so it'd be a lot easier to think about making the next ten and taking just making a nineteen into one and eighteen. Or maybe you already did that way. All right, here's the 18, so that's what I'm going to use for this one, 18 plus 18. So there's 18, I'm going to think of it as 2 and 16. And add the 2 first to make 20. And add 20 to the 16. Six. 